Good morning, YouTube land. How are you guys and gals today? Oh my gosh, can you even believe what is going on? I mean, seriously, you got, you got CERN in Switzerland building this machine called the CERN machine, <laughs> the Collider, and I mean, a lot of people are like totally not aware because it's something that you don't see on the news or maybe they do see it on the news I don't really know because I don't watch the news but on YouTube there's videos about it and Steve Hawking which is like a brilliant science atheist has warned these scientists don't do this. You do not want to do this. You are going to open Pandora's box and you're not going to be able to close it. Now, I watched a video about a university, but they didn't specify the university. And they actually had students that they did an experiment and these students started like freaking out. They saw par, how do you say that word? Is it paranormal? They saw paranormal activities. They, I mean, you know, some people that don't believe in ghosts and spirits, they were like, oh, well, these students were having hallucinations. But see, the thing is, when you start messing with powers of the darkness, I mean, they, they even say that this CERN thing has the potential to open up the gates of hell. If that doesn't concern you, as, okay, you don't even have to be a Christian. If you're just a normal, ordinary human being, you know, I'm telling you, this affects everybody on this planet Earth because they are going, they already did a test, but they are going to do like another test to where they make these things collide this matter, these scientists, these brilliant scientists that are building this machine, you know, if they're so brilliant, why can't they come together and throw all this multi-million dollar into feeding these poor people and these starving children in Africa, in Vietnam, in India, in all the parts of the world that need help, why can't they focus that, you know, like, incredible thought process into that? But no, they're going to unleash demon spirits. That's what they're going to do. They have no idea that that is totally what they're doing. They are messing with, like, creation. Okay, now, I know, I get on this tangent because I'm, I've been praying about it. Because, see, the word CERN, C-E-R-N, if that doesn't concern you, it should. And the Bible says to use our discernment. No right from wrong. I mean, if Steve Hawking said, you know what, this is opening up a portal, it's a, once you open Pandora's box, you can't close it. I mean, hello. And I am a, I, I am a super spiritual person. I'm not a watchman on the wall. I'm not a prophetess. I am just a Christian girl that just respects Almighty God 
follows Almighty God's commandments, and I know my way is found in Jesus Christ. That is it. And when you look around and see what's going on in this world, and it is on the wrong path, it is on the wrong path, you got to make a choice. You got to make a stand. You got to understand the days and the times that we're living in. Not only is it exciting to like witness all this, but it's also like, oh my gosh, how many people can I touch? How many people can I reach? How many people, you know, in Jesus' name, how many people can I, can I like talk to? Because in my life, I am in a sheltered atmosphere. Okay, I am not able to go out into the streets and preach the good news. I'm not. So this is like the outlet that I choose on YouTube land because there's so many videos that are, you know, that are just drawing people in. And you need to put your focus on the Lord in these days. In these days, you need to be hunkering down, asking God Almighty, please have mercy on our souls. Please! Not only do we have outside things coming into the atmosphere that were ordered by the Lord. See, God says in the last days, there's going to be earthquakes in divers places. That means all over the place. That means if you never felt an earthquake in your neck of the woods, it's not impossible to say you're going to feel something shaking. Whole lot of shaking going on. Because God's trying to warn people. And, and you know, I'm no genius. And I don't have a problem saying that. I don't want to be a genius. I don't want to know what's on the other side until God says, okay, I want you to know what's on the other side. You got these scientists that want to make a name for themselves. You know, if they want all the answers, all they got to do is pick up the book. Pick up the book and read. You know, that's it. That's it. Now, I just have a couple verses I'm going to tell, I'm going to share with you guys. Number one, in John chapter 12, verse 42 to 50, it says, I have come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. Okay? Jesus, who came to restore all of creation, including humanity, to its intended place, referred to himself as that light. I have come as a light into the world, he said that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. In him, we not only have the light of salvation, but the only light by which we can find our way, his way, through our world's spiritual darkness. Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing darkness is because the Bible says in the last days the sun will be dark. The moon will not give its light. The heavens will be shaken. Now when I think about that, 
I think of Revelation. I think of the vials being spilled. I think of the, the angels and their bowls. I think of the powers in heaven that have been given the green light by Almighty God. Okay. Start doing it. Vial number one, bowl number one. Vial number two, bowl number... Oh, and there's also seals. You got these, these, these bowls, you've got these seals. And I'm not talking about the seal. <gasps> okay, I'm not talking about the Navy seals over here. <laughs> you guys, before I go... I want to read to you in Genesis, okay, Genesis chapter 11, the Tower of Babel. Now, the whole world had one language and a common speech. As men moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar, and they settled there. They said to each other, come. Let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar instead of mortar. And then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the men were building. The Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. Okay, now verse 8. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there is where the Lord confused the language of the whole world, and from there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Now, why did I read that? The town of Babel. The Tower of Babel, I'm sorry. Because if you think about what these scientists have come together to build this machine, to find out about matter, and to do another test run in September, so many things are going to be happening in September. Isn't there another blood moon? There are so many signs right now. And, you know, I am not a whack job. I am just a sister in the Lord saying, you know what? This world is getting darker. I mean, if they unleash portals, spiritual darkness, we already fight against principalities in high places. That was before CERN. Can you imagine... The demonic activities once they do their another the other test run in September and isn't there like a meteor or or a comet or some I mean if you read revelations we are in the last days we are in the last days the water is not going to be drinkable because of worm wood it's a star that it, I know, calm down, Donna, calm down. But I'm telling you, Jesus is the light of this world. And this world is getting darker. Okay? That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Find your way in Jesus today, right now. It's not too late and I gotta go. God bless you guys and see you later. Bye.